Hey everyone, welcome to another video and welcome to the next chapter in my riding life. Welcome to Belgium. Now if you remember about 12 months ago I released a video saying we were moving here and the time has finally come. Um, what it's meant is that for the last three months of my life moving our family overseas has been ridiculously difficult and I have been doing nothing other than preparing for this. But we're now two weeks here in Belgium, we're slowly settling in, my bikes arrive early next week and we're about to kick into the season here really. So I thought it was about time I made a video, showed you what I can show you of Belgium so far and uh, talk about what's coming up and the future for me, my riding and the channel. Let's show you around. Right, so let's start with maybe a bit of location. Where am I? Um, I'm obviously in Belgium, but more specifically, uh, we are living in a place called Tervenen. Tervenen is between Brussels and Louvre. And excuse my butched pronunciation, of course, and that will be the theme in the next few months. But you might know Louvre as a cyclist. It was where the 2021 World Championships were held. So I'm in close proximity to some stunning places to ride. Now, if you know Belgium and riding, you'll know that West Flanders is the primary kind of most famous area, or the Ardennes, which are, we're kind of in the middle of those two regions. But the region here is actually probably better than what most people would expect. Maybe a bit of a, a hidden gem if you're an international cyclist. I'm sure the locals know too well how good it is around here. And where we're walking at the moment is the big park. That's in Turvenen, big wooded area. But this is actually, even though it's ginormous, <laughs> it's really a huge, huge space. Lots of these sorts of trails, uh, roads, a section of the European Gravel Championships uh, came through here last year, and which was super cool. I remember watching that race, seeing these roads, and now I'm kind of walking in them, which is super cool. Um, but this is only the top section of a much larger forested area, uh, the Sojan Forest area, uh, kind of in and around Brussels. So I'm just exploring on foot. <laughs> With our bikes, I've been very limited. I'm now itching to uh, get out and do some more riding uh, and explore more now that we're a bit more settled. But yeah, that's where we are. This will be predominantly where my gravel riding, gravel training will happen. Um, but obviously all the roads around here are, you know, world class as well having been part of that world championship circuit um, in 21 as well so really close from my doorstep to some great riding but Udenard's about 90 k's away from here uh, Liège is only an hour's drive so all of that world class that, that well known international road system uh, for all the big races like Tour Flanders, Liège based on Liège all that stuff's so close um, for the Kiwis <laughs> who might be watching this, to give you context, Belgium is about the size of Wellington, the Wairapa and the Kapiti Coast um, as a whole country. And obviously that's like the lower, lower part of our North Island. So it's as big as this country is. So everything, for me, everything is close. Um, nothing is considered far away. <laughs> Even if you're from Belgium, traveling across country might seem crazy. To me, no problem. So it's right there on the doorstep, which is super, super cool. But seriously, look how awesome this place is. It's just roads, roads, roads. It's quite incredible, actually. All right, so we talked about new beginnings, new chapters. And what does that mean? Well, really for, the, for me personally, the riding takes a very different turn being over here um, in Belgium. Uh, racing is very close. Um, I'm getting now 33 and I've got this stint in my life where I potentially get a chance to be more elite than I have been the last few years with kids being young and having a full-time job. I kind of, although looking after my children, but more or less full-time, I don't have a job over here and I want to focus on this channel but I want to focus on me, on the racing and 
in a way progress and try and learn Belgium, learn Belgium culture, become what they would consider over here Flandrian, or <laughs> just pretty much by the term they own very hardcore bike riders. Um, I always go back to being complete amateur, basically, and that's cool. I'm really excited for that. So, what can you expect different next year <clears throat> and in the weeks following? What might you see? Let's talk about that. mean by change well to start with we'll probably be changing the name of the channel the layout bits and pieces and it's not because simple cyclist isn't this mentality that I'm taking forward into my riding and all the things that kind of I wish to talk about I guess in a way simple cyclist was going to be bigger than me and while I'm here in Belgium the next three years it can't be bigger than me in a way um, I wouldn't be able to put a team together I wouldn't be able to sort of help a humongous number of riders apart from just being able to offer you the value I can offer you by doing what I do and talking about the things that I ride and the places I go and talk about the stuff that's happening to me and in a point in time you know life over here it's it is about family for me looking after my kids um, building our family the best life we can over here and chasing some personal goals you know it's uh, coming to a point that age I was talking about where these things might not be possible in a few years time so really taking this moment of life on right now and sharing that journey learning a lot and really I'm just hoping that the things I learn the things I experience uh, the things I can just show you that are happening will bring value in a way but it'll be a change um, there were certain types of videos I did that were about bigger audiences and helping as many people as possible but that's not going to be a sustainable model for me in the next three years just the way it is <laughs> the upside is I'll get to chase some very specific things some Belgium things some European things um, and you'll get to see some numpty amateur <laughs> like myself who's new to Europe new to European racing um, experience this stuff for the first time so you know if you're offshore if you're not from Belgium you might find it highly interesting what's going to happen here and the things and the people I meet and the things that I see uh, if you're from Belgium I find it completely hilarious <laughs> and I'd have the reaction that I will have to these sorts of things uh, you know, climbing the Koppenberg and <laughs> seeing the the Ardennes and the crazy stuff that happens over here which is just so normal to people um, obviously so yeah it's going to be a really interesting three years um, even just walking around today I'm just getting oh, so itching to go and explore this new place that I'm in um, and yeah hopefully I can bring more videos to you in the next few months um, all of it being first time first time first time <laughs> and yeah I'm probably less than 80 days away before my first sportif um, which will kind of gonna do a few of the local ones or all of the big uh, one day classics races the pro races do a sportif the day prior or the day after in some cases so I'm gonna do a bunch of those good way to experience the roads um, ride with some other people and get a sense of those obviously watch the pro races which will be mind-blowing all that will then lead to the Flanders classic being the final sportif I do kind of pre-season uh, it's about 250k closed roads obviously that's the Ronda the Ronda van Vlaardaren the Tour of Flanders route I just I can't even comprehend how cool that's going to be to experience um, and then we get into gravel so all well, it's been lovely to chat to you all again bring a video out um, first of many and if you're still here thank you for watching to the end um, sorry it's a bit more just an informational video but like I said it's the new chapter we're gonna bring heaps more coming up so if you're interested to see my experience of life in Belgium learning the Belgium cycling culture then please subscribe stick along um, tell some other people if you're watching they might find it interesting to them as well but yeah thanks for heaps for sticking around and look forward to seeing you all in the next video cheers guys